city of Jerusalem, crowded at all times, filled to overflowing during the annual feasts of the Passover. Travelers from all the lands of Israel thronged to the great temple. The mighty courts resounded to the blaring ram's horn trumpets. The smoke of burning offerings ascended from the altars. It was to this same temple that three decades before, Joseph and Mary had brought the infant Jesus for the sacred rite of dedication. It was within these vast courtyards that in his boyhood, he had impressed the scribes and the sages with his wisdom and understanding. Here he had returned in the early days of his earthly mission as an unheralded teacher unknown except in his homeland of distant Galilee. It was through the streets leading to the temple that the people had hailed him in a sudden, spontaneous accolade, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hail to Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And it was here that he had looked upon the outer courtyard, upon the vendors of sacrificial animals, the sellers of oils and incense, the changers of currency, and had turned away with tears in his eyes. On the following day, Jesus and the Twelve came from Bethany and entered the temple. Lamb for the sacrificial order. Have them copy this, Shufka. Where's the changes I authorized? Yes, Excellency. Excellency, my Lord Cephas, the Nazarene has returned. How many are with him? Only his closest disciples, 11 or 12. Uh, where is he now? In the inner temple, praying. Hmm. Excellency, what shall we do? Hmm? Do? Let him pray. Yesterday he had half of Judea at his back, and he turned away. And the people saw that he feared us. Now let them see that we ignore him. Yes, Excellency. Eight is all that is worth. Eight and no more. Do you think you know the value of Gentile coins better than I do? They are eight pieces. Take them or I'll call the gods. Coins of any land exchange all money to the Almighty. Coins of any land. Coins exchange. Lamb for the sacrificial order. Oil, rare oil, oil for the Almighty. Coins exchange. Coins of any land. Pure joy. Coins of any land. The people are curious, thoughtless, fickle. But remind them of the authority of the temple. Keep it ever before them. You shall not make my father's house into a marketplace. Is it not written? My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations. But you have made it a den of robbers. Caiaphas? Here. Isaiah has returned. The Nazarene's in Bethany, dining with his disciples, surrounded by a horde of followers. Isaiah mingled with them, pretended to be one of them. He reports that they're saying that Jesus is a prophet, the son of David, the Messiah of Scripture. Uh -oh. They're saying that a wealthy woman thrust into where he was seated at table and anointed his hair with rare oil, as though he were already a king. Do you think he'll lead a revolt against us? I think he has. Yesterday he entered the city to a thunder of cheers. Today he stormed the court of all nations, defied my authority, openly, brazenly. And to my
tomorrow. Tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, they've, they've changed things around since I was last here. Changed? Used to look like a stockyard. <laughs> Bullocks and goats, sheep and pigeons for sacrifices. Money changes tables over there. They were there until three days ago. New young teacher, a man from the north, drove them out single-handed. One man. One man. To be exact, that man, Jesus Bar Joseph from Nazareth in Galilee. You know he's a man of courage. Well, I wouldn't call the money changes a valiant sort of enemy. Oh, I don't mean just for baiting them, but for having the nerve to come back here. He must realize that the high priest can stand no such opposition. Uh-oh. What's wrong? There go two Akai up as close as stage. Let's stroll over and see what's happening. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. We know that you are true. Do not regard the position of men, but truly teach the words of God. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? A very choice trap. If he says pay, the entire crowd turns against him. Don't pay and I arrest him for treason. Well, come, teacher, answer. Should we pay them or should we not? Why put me to the test? Because of your great authority and wisdom. Show me your coin. Whose likeness and inscription is on it? Why, Caesar's. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Disgusting, contemptible. He should be cast out of the temple. Banned from it forever. And make a bad situation worse. If we let him go on, everyone will believe in him. And the Romans will destroy both our holy place and our nation. I fear Pilate's troops less than I fear the people. They love us little enough as it is. And less every day that they hear the Galilean. But acting against him would only inflame them. We can never justify such an act to them. That I know. You know nothing. If you do not understand it is expedient that one man one man should die for the people. Not that a whole nation shall perish. I agree completely, Excellency, completely. If it were not that he had so deluded... Well, I certainly have no love for him. Excellency. Only... How is it called? Judas, Excellency. Judas Iscariot. And the upper room of an inn had been prepared for the feast of the unleavened bread. My children. I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall never eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. Is it I, Master? Surely none of us betray you, Master. Who could it be, Master? Oh, no, Rabbi, it couldn't be. No, Master, no. It is one of the twelve who is dipping bread with me. For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had not been born.
what you are going to do. Do quickly. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the world, who dost bring forth bread from the earth. Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the world, who has created the fruit of the vine. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Truly I say to you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, so now I say to you, where I am going you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Lord. Why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Will you lay down your life for me? Yes, Master. Yes. Even if they all fall away, I will not. Truly I say to you, this very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. No, Master, no. If I must die with you, I won't deny you. We will not fail you, teacher. You know that I love you. Depend on me, master. None of us could betray you. No, no. And he went out, as was his custom, to a garden named Gethsemane. Wait here while I pray. Come with me. My soul is very sorrowful, even unto death. Remain here and watch.
Father. All things are possible to thee. If thou art willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Are you asleep? Master. Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Behold, the hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Master. Judas. Would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? That's the man. Save him. It was not to the temple that Jesus was taken, but to the home of Annas, where a small portion of the Sanhedrin prepared to hear him and judge him. Since high time he was taught a lesson, flaunting all authority, Starting a near riot on temple grounds. Riot? What riot? Hmm? There could have been bloodshed. The day he led that howling mob to the very gates. And he attacked the merchants, the money changers, the sellers of doves and lambs. Oh. Oh, yes. Sacrilege. There's no question about it. I'm ready to find him guilty now. There's little doubt that he's deserving of punishment. Let us, however, wait and see what the hearing develops. There have been rumors that he has set himself up as a king an act of treason against Caesar. Our concern, of course, is not with that, rather with his blasphemies, the false prophecies, his attempts to mislead the people. If, however, we should learn that he is guilty of treason against Rome, then it would be our duty to turn him over to the procurator. Stand there. Now, what have you to say of this man? Why Most noble excellency. I was in the court of the Gentiles, and with my own ears I heard him say he could tear down the whole temple, all of it, in three days' time. That is not quite right, your excellencies. What he did say was that if the temple were destroyed, he could build another like it in three days with his bare hands. Oh, he said he could tear it down, not rebuild it. I was as close to him as you were. I heard what he said. Enough. You may go. You waste time. These fools don't even have sense enough to agree. The Tsar and I told them. Ah. Uh, Jesus of Nazareth, step forward. You have heard the statements of the witnesses. Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? I adjure you by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of the Blessed. You have said so. 
But I tell you hereafter, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Blasphemy? Why do we still need witnesses? You've heard it's blasphemy. What is your decision? Guilty. Guilty on all charges. He is blasphemed. Guilty? Guilty. 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 As the day dawned, Jesus was taken to the palace where the procurator was staying. Those who escorted him, having already purified themselves for the observance of Passover rites, declined to enter the abode of a Gentile. Pilate, awakened before his accustomed hour, was in a surly mood. Your Excellency. If a matter were of such urgency. Hi. We regret urgently having interfered. But it will only take a moment this of This man you brought to me, of what is he accused? He incited the people to riot in the very courtyard of the temple. Why, he even claims to be the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God. He encourages his followers to hail him as the king of all the Jews. These affairs are yours, not Rome's. Take him. Judge him according to your laws. We have, Excellency, and found him deserving of death. All we ask is your endorsement of our findings. If he were not guilty, we wouldn't have brought him here. Wait here. And Pilate questioned Jesus, seeking to find if there was truth to the charge that he had plotted to proclaim himself a king. Are you a king, then? You say I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause I came into the world, that I should bear witness for the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. Truth. What is truth? I find no fault in the man. But he has stirred up the people. Yes, he's spoken to yes, the king himself. All over Judea, from here to Galilee. From Galilee? Is he a Galilean? Yes, he comes from Nazareth. Then he comes under Herod's jurisdiction, not mine. Centurion. Yes, Your Excellency. Have the prisoner taken to the Tetrarch. But Excellency, well, Excellency you're you're all all you you come come for a moment. And Jesus was brought before Herod. And Herod demanded that some sign or miracle be done by him. But Jesus answered him not. And the priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him. And Herod and those with him treated him with contempt and mocked him. And arraying him in a tattered robe, jeering him as a pretender who called himself a king, they sent him back to Pilate. So Jesus was once more brought before the procurator. You brought the man to me as one who incites the people. I questioned him. I found no fault in him. No guilt in the things of which he was accused. No, nor did Herod. The prisoner's done nothing to merit death. I will have him chastised and then released. No! No! Whipping is not enough! Yes! Do away with it! Do away with it! As he was flogged, brambles were taken and woven together. at the prisoner whom the crowds had hailed as king, the guards placed a crown on his head, <laughs> a crown of thorns.
You have heard how many things they have witnessed against you. They say you call yourself the Son of God. Who are you? From where do you come? Why don't you answer? Don't you realize I have the power to release you or crucify you? You could have no power at all against me, except it were given you from above. Therefore, he that delivered me to you has the greater sin. that man, you are no friend of Caesar's. I bring him before you so you may know I find no fault in him. Behold! It's a man. By custom, as at each Passover, I will free a prisoner to you. Will you have me release for you the King of the Jews? What then shall I do with Jesus called Christ? Innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Release Barabbas. And upon insistence that he be crucified, Pilate delivered him to their will. <laughs> <laughs> 